close your eyes and find your center inside, the place where you feel at home. This is an important part of the meditation where you can settle down and feel that this is where you really belong. You can gather your strength. And as with any home, you can look in the refrigerator and there's food. You look in the bedroom, there's a nice, comfortable place to stay. That's the kind of place you want to have here. And then there's your office where you can do your work uninterrupted. It's all inside right here. It's simply a matter of learning how to clean things out inside. This is why we work with the breath and play with the breath. So we'll have a good, comfortable place to stay inside. And then when things outside get really aggravating, you've got a good place to go. Or then when you start feeling lonely, okay, you can go inside and say, well, it's a good place in here. You think about all the hassles there are with dealing with people. You say, I've got hassles enough dealing with my own mind. Let's bring the mind in here so you can work on it directly. This is something that everybody should have, a place inside where they can go. The world would be a much better place if we all could meditate. Find that sense of satisfaction. Find that sense of rest and repose inside. But you can't wait for the rest of the world to do this. But you can find your place, and you can be a good example to others. Showing that happiness doesn't depend on running around all the time. There's a lot of happiness that can be found just sitting still and really looking at your own mind. Because after all, what is the most interesting thing in the world? It's your own mind. It shapes all kinds of things. There's one passage where the Buddha talks about how variegated the animal world is, and he says the mind is even more variegated than that. It can think of all kinds of things. So there's plenty to look at here. You want to see what kind of good things your mind can think up, what kind of good things your mind can create. So you can drive out the ones that are not so good. But it takes time, and it takes an amount of seclusion. If you don't have that seclusion, then you don't have any time. You don't have any energy. You're worked up about the relationship. You're worked about the other people, all kinds of things. But now you've got this moment where you can just be by yourself and look at the mind on its own terms. And that's when you can begin to straighten things out. Then it's never too late. As long as you're breathing, you've still got the opportunity to look at your mind and work with it. Because the work you do with your mind doesn't end at death. It keeps going. The results keep going. So you want to make sure that the time you've got right now is not wasted. Here's your time to be alone. Here's your time to find some seclusion so you can look directly at this mind and see what good things there are in there. 